Welcome back. John Hopkins researchers have analyzed medical death rate data over an eight-year period and found more than 250,000 deaths per year are due to medical error here in this country. The Centers for Disease Control now ranks as the third leading cause of death. So we brought in our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, to tell us more about this. What is medical error, doctor? So, you know, that's a really broad term. Okay. Medical errors can be anything from poor judgment mm -hmm. by a health care provider, or it can be a medication error where someone's given the wrong dose or the wrong medication entirely. There's a lot of reasons that we see these errors, right. and these studies have really kind of brought this to light, that we need to do a little bit better job figuring out what's going on. It sounds very scary, the third leading cause of death. So talk to us, tell us what hospitals, what doctors are doing, what systems are in place to prevent medical error from happening. You know, one of the things we have to remember is this study looked at four smaller studies. So it, you know, we have to take the findings with a grain of salt. There's a lot of debate about how accurate the number of deaths are. However, what it tells us is that we need better systems. We need to be able to communicate among healthcare teams a little bit better. We need to make sure that we're able to hand off patients between emergency departments mm -hmm. and units so that no lapses in care occur. And it also comes down to the patient mm -hmm. and the advocates and the people who, you know, care and love that patient, being there for that patient, making sure that there's the right communication taking place. Is that right? Absolutely. One of the most important things I think we can all learn from this story is the fact that if you advocate for yourself or your loved one when in the hospital, it can make a big difference. What I mean is when someone comes into your room and gives you a pill or wants to give you a drug, mm -hmm. ask what that drug is. What's it for? What does it do? If they send you off for a test in the hospital, ask why you're having that yeah. test and how it may affect your care. If you do that for yourself or your loved one, I think it will be another check in place that makes sure that you get the right care that you need. You know, that's something all of us really need to keep in mind because it can be intimidating if you're in the hospital dealing with doctors and nurses. You may not know what to ask or you may feel scared to ask, but you should. Absolutely. You've really got to advocate for yourself. And, you know, one thing you need to know is the health care system as a whole, we're putting in lots of checks right. and balances. There's lots of ways that, for instance, if you're going to have a surgical procedure, we do a timeout mm -hmm. where all the work in the room stops and we talk to one another, verify your name, your medical record number and what's going on yeah. so there, there's lots of checks and balances that there for you. That communication is mm -hmm. so key especially when it comes to avoiding a medical error from Absolutely. happening. Dr. Campbell always great to have you. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for, for being me. here. If you want to reach out to the good doctor it's easy to do. Go to our website at WNCN.com you'll find all of his information there including his social media accounts. I'd love to see you. <laughs>